Hi, today in History Talks we will be looking at one of the most glorious and successful fighters of the Indian Air Force that is the Sukhoi 7 built by the Sukhoi Bureau of the Soviet Union. Today Sukhoi is a common name in India and whenever the word Sukhoi is mentioned the very fighter which comes to our mind is a Sukhoi 30 more precisely is a Sukhoi 30 MKI which was specially designed for India but today we we'll go back into the past and look at the Sukhoi 7 and its contribution to the Indian Air Force. The Sukhoi 7 was a swept wing supersonic fighter aircraft developed by the USSR in 1955. It was initially designed and developed as a tactical low level dogfighter but it was found to be quite unsuccessful and unsuitable for that role. And later, when the 7B series came, only it became successful and was used as a fighter bomber and ground attack aircraft. The aircraft was known for simplicity. The Sukhoi 7 was designed by the Soviet Sukhoi Design Bureau. It was the first Soviet aircraft to use the new Lubayanka AL 7 turbojet engine and also the first to have all moving tail plane and also a translating center body. The aircraft was later developed as the 7B series fighter bomber. It was designed to replace the already scrapped Illusion IL-10. It first flew in March 1959 and entered into the Soviet service in 1961. The designer sure had been quite successful in their design as it had a very good performance. It had a maximum speed of 0.94 Mach which translated into around 1700 kilometers per hour at a height of around 40,000 feet. It also had a good climb rate of 29,900 feet per second or around 160 meter per second. But it did have a modest radius of action and limited external storage capacity of six hard points which were used to carry an array of weapons such as missiles, rockets and guns. The aircraft had a very stable weapons platform and well harbourized gun and side combination which gave outstanding result for it. Its armament composed of two 30mm NR-30 cannon with 70 rounds per gun and six underbelly hardpoints which carried a number of ordnance which included the M62 500kg bomb or the 250 kilo bombs or the S-24 rocket bombs or even the UB 47 millimeter rocket pods. The outer stations of the wings were stressed for 250 kilo loads while the inner stations and under fuselage points were stressed for 500 kilo loads. The impressive characteristics of the Sukhoi 7 made it a very popular aircraft and as we can see a large number of air forces around the world operated it and currently it is only operated by the North Korean Air Force. The aircraft served as the main aircraft of the USSR in the 1960s and this was mainly the 7B series. Why these aircraft served with utmost and brilliant performance by the 90s, they were mostly outdated and retired by most of the air force in which they served. In the USSR by 1986, these aircraft were replaced by the Sukhoi 70s and the MiG 27s. While these aircraft were operated by many air forces around the world, they mainly saw action in the Arab-Israel war and the 1971 war of, of India and Pakistan. And it was in the 1971 war that 
the these aircrafts were able to show their full potential and attain the glory in the 1960 even as the indian air force were inducting the mig 21s in larger numbers the need was felt for a high performance offensive air support aircraft to replace the mysterious and to support the hunters as the hf24 mirat which was built by henderson aerotics limiters was still uncertain and was facing problems of a suitable power plant and it was decided by the indian air force to induct the sukhoi 7 in the indian air force to bridge this gap a total of 140 such aircraft were inducted into the indian air force with the initial order of 90 aircrafts and a subsequent order for 50 more they were considered into the six squadrons of the indian air force the air squadrons which operated the sukhoi 7s were the 20 squadron the 101 and 221 squadron which earlier operated the vampires the 30 squadron and the 108 squadron and also the newly raised 222 squadron which was formed in september 1969 the induction of the sukhoi 7 into the air created number of first in its history it became the first aircraft to have a full fledged autopilot and also to have a just assisted take off it also became the first aircraft of the indian air force to have a zero level ejection system it was in the 1971 indo pak war that the capabilities and the potentials of the Sukhoi 7 truly came to the front and it was able to achieve a huge victory for the nation in that war and it not only helped in operations against the air force but also against the army as well in both the eastern and western front the first counter air mission was conducted on the dawn of 4th of december 1971 by the sukhoi with the mig 21s providing the top cover the 26 squadron stuck at chande the 32 on shorkot the 101 on pasrur and 221 on raiswala air bases they were loaded with the m62 bombs and flew brilliantly and destroyed the runways on these airfields the destroying of the air forward airfields opened up the field for the canberras and the hunters to attack the airfields which were further inside on the very first day of action the 32 number squadrons were able to destroy two b57s one mirage trees and two sabers at sorkot the sukhoi 7 played also a critical role in the offensive air support provided by the air force to the indian army and this was mainly helpful to the western army command who was had to face the blunt of the ground offensive of the pakistan army the sukhoi 7s helped in the critical punch and chum sectors and were helpful in countering the pakistan offensive the os operations were mainly of search and strike nature in this area and here the 101 squadron came to the fore when they helped the army capture the chicken neck the squadron helped in destroying the enemy armor with their 57 mm rockets and destroyed 69 tanks 25 field guns and 57 b vehicles The 26 squadron primarily operated over Shakargarh Baj and was controlled by 8 Tactical Air Command while it was engaged in attacking enemy positions tanks and troop concentrations at Zafarwal and Shakargarh in the meantime 32 squadron was engaged in offensive air support for the army at Sulek Monkey 
चंब एंड सकारगढ़ हंड्रेड एंड एट एंड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी वन स्क्वाड्रन ऑफ द सुखोई सेवन हेल्प ग्रेटली इन द ईस्टर्न फ्रंट इन द आर्मीज अटैक एंड एडवांस द टू टू वन स्क्वाड्रन वॉज अलॉटेड फॉर काउंटर एयर ऑपरेशन ऑफेंसिव एयर सपोर्ट एंड फोटो रिकॉगनेशंस इट ऑल्सो लॉन्च अटैक्स ऑन कुर्मितोला एंड टेस्टगाव एयर बेसिस ऑन द फोर्थ ऑफ डिसम्बर and destroyed three cybers on the ground the two squadrons also destroyed many bridges and ferry crossings and helped the army greatly in the capture of dhaka the 221 squadron was later transferred to the western sector and it played an important role in the capture of the sukhoi 7 this faced a lot of opposition from the pakistan in its operations and this was mainly from the mig 19 and the sabers but it was able to counter them with out any loss the sukhoi 7 also ran into a lot of ground fire which was quite heavy which was mainly from the 37 mm multi barrel cannons with the pakistan had and were made out of chinese model being a large aircraft and being continuously exposed the sukhoi 7 was subjected to concentrated air defense and many aircraft returned to the air base with lot of damage but it was the ruggedness and the toughness of this aircraft which led to the fact that none of them were lost or written off despite fighting lot of damage one particular incident of the 1970 war war highlights the ruggedness and the toughness of this aircraft this incident happened when the sukhoi 7 which was being flown by wing commander hs magnat commanding officer of 32 squadron on being on a photo recognition mission was intercepted by pakistan mig 19 the aircraft was hit by sidewinder missile on almost half of the equipments were damaged but still the pilot was able to disengage and return to his base without the aircraft being written off this is a classic example and shows how rugged this aircraft was and how it helped in carving out a victory for the indian armed forces in 1971 the sukhoi 7 in this war not only helped to counter the Pakistan Air Force in ground in the air but also helped to blunt the offensive and defensive capabilities of the Pakistan army and helped the Indian army gain such a magnificent and decisive victory this victory not only led to Indian armed forces victory but also led to the birth of a new nation which is quite a history and uh, in itself as no other nation was created in such a way in the years since the second world war the sukhoi 7 and its history has sadly been forgotten in the sense of time and i hope that it gets revived and it gets its due recognition and respect which aircrafts like mirage 2000 and the mig 29 are getting by their sheer performance in the 1999 Kargil war if you have liked the video do press the thumbs up button